Welcome Sagittarius to your July career and money reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Sagittarius, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with passion and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this passion energy is for Sagittarius, please. And we have the Empress and the Ace of Cups. My dear Sagittarius, this is an incredibly wonderful and uplifting message coming through for you. You're being asked, my dear Sagittarius, in July to take some time and really look at what you are passionate about doing. Now, I know many of my Sagittarians are going to say I have no passion, but every one of us likes doing some things more than we like doing other things. Are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? Do you like a nine to five job? Do you prefer working for yourself? Do you like to work in an office or do you like to work on your own? Start from the basics, my dear Sagittarius. If having a passion does not jump out at you, for other of my Sagittarians, you will know immediately what you're passionate about. And it doesn't have to be directly connected to your money and finances right now. You could be passionate about drawing, cooking, wine, books. You could be passionate about animals, nature. Find where that passion is. Because my dear Sagittarius, you are getting the most interesting message. You are being asked to look at how you can create something with your passion that is going to place you in the Empress energy. Now, it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the Empress I am speaking about. Now, the Empress, my dear Sagittarius, is a wonderful card to get in a career and money reading. It's all about abundance, fertility, being in a place where we want for nothing. It's the energy of having a cornucopia flow over Anything and everything is possible. And with that, we have the hand of God coming in. So Spirit is confirming for us that whatever this is, if you are able to take it further so that it becomes something you work in, and it doesn't have to be immediate, my dear Sagittarius. It's something you start looking at monetizing, but with Ace of Cups coming in, Spirit is telling you, your cup is going to flow over with abundance. And this abundance will affect many areas of your life. So I will give you some very simple examples. If you, my dear Sagittarius, love nature, and every weekend you pick another area and you go on a hike, and you stop somewhere, you have a picnic, and then you walk back and it's the most beautiful and inspiring day. You are passionate about nature and walking. You might want to consider, my dear Sagittarius, starting a nature or hiking club and charging people a fee every weekend to join you on these hikes. And this could be the beginning of something. If you, my dear Sagittarius, are passionate about making clothes, and this is what you do in your pastime. You've got your own style. 
it's unique and special to you and you get a lot of compliments about the clothes you wear and the things you design. You might want to consider now making clothes and selling them, taking orders from people. Start small, start with the people you know, let it be word of mouth, let it grow. Start with your passion. With these two cards coming out here, my dear Sagittarius, we must now acknowledge there's something here. And for my Sagittarians, who nothing comes to mind, look at what you like to do. Look at what you're good at. Start there. It doesn't have to be something huge that jumps out at you, but there's going to be something you like to do. Let that be your jumping off point. Give this some time and consideration. Because, my dear Sagittarius, with this combination, I do feel this could be such a wonderful and lucrative experience for you. Let us move on now and see what Get Clear on What You Want is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this message is for Sagittarius, please. And we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles. Sagittarius, I do believe that this message is very connected to your passion energy. And as you can see, all this red energy very much resonates with all the oranges and yellows and reds in our passion card. We are being told, my dear Sagittarius, that when you now, get very focused about what you want and what you can do, things are going to take a remarkable turn for you. Now remember, my dear Sagittarius, this does not mean you have to give up your business and your job. You're going to integrate this into your life at a pace that is comfortable and easy to you and you're going to let it grow and expand organically and see how it now expands and grows. The Wheel of Fortune tells me that as soon as you implement this, as soon as you just acknowledge, right, I am going to do something I love now. I will do it in the evenings. I will do it over the weekends. But I'm going to now share my gifts, skills and talents with people around me. And you begin. Things are going to change for you. The Wheel of Fortune tells me that energy shifts, energy changes, and the wheel turns in your favor. You, my dear Sagittarius, are presenting under this energy as Queen of Pentacles, which is the most perfect energy to come out in a career and money reading, because our Queen of Pentacles is our abundant queen. As you can see, she's a very relaxed serene queen. She's holding her pentacle because she is connected to her money, her career, her finances. It's part of her. She knows that when she works in what she loves, she grows and expands her abundance. That little rabbit is telling me, my dear Sagittarius, July is a very lucky month for you when it comes to your abundance and your finances. So, get clear, my dear Sagittarius. And remember what I said, it could be anything, anything, my dear Sagittarius. Just find something that gives you that energy of, I like to do this. And if you're very lucky, you're able to say, I love to do this and work from that point. Because what I am seeing here for you my gosh, Sagittarius, this can grow and expand in ways you cannot imagine. And with our Ace of Cups flowing over in five different streams, Sagittarius, your life is going to be affected on very many levels because when the abundance starts flowing in and you love what you do, just picture that for a moment. 
it's going to affect you, heart, mind, body, soul and spirit. Get clear, my dear Sagittarius, because things are looking so positive for you. Right, let us move on now and see what Know Your Value is all about and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this message is for Sagittarius, please. And you have Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Sagittarius, you have one cohesive message coming through. And it is an incredibly positive message with regards to your abundance. This message, Know Your Value, is connected to our Five of Swords energy. And this, my dear Sagittarius, is coming through for my Sagittarians who don't believe they have anything to offer. And I felt that for some of my Sagittarians right from the beginning when I mentioned just find what you like. It doesn't have to be this huge, great passion, but something you enjoy. You know, Sagittarius, as we go through life, we start to really feel that there's nothing unique or special about us. And we lose focus on what we love and what gives us joy and what gives us that passion that drives us. And then we stop identifying where we are blessed and skilled. And as I said, it can come through anywhere, my dear Sagittarius. When you believe in yourself, you will be able to believe in your passion. This energy, know your value, is about standing strong, no matter what you have been through or what you might be going through. You've come out of it believing that there is still hope and possibility that things can change for you dramatically. Five of Swords tells me that some of my Sagittarians have really been struggling in what they're doing and where they are right now. But what I love to see is that you haven't given up. It's time now to really acknowledge, my dear Sagittarius, that you deserve to be abundant. You deserve to be happy. You deserve for your cup of abundance to flow over. You have another exceptionally positive card coming out in a career and money reading. The Nine of Pentacles. So with your Nine of Pentacles, your Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups and the Empress. Sagittarius, there is something here that is burning with passion to come through and ignite. Nine of Pentacles is another card very similar to our Empress energy. It's the card, my dear Sagittarius, of being in a place where we can take care of ourselves. We've made the right decisions. We've gone down roads we have chosen for ourselves. And now we stand independent, able to decide for ourselves what we want to see and bring into our lives on an abundance level. Do not for one minute, my dear Sagittarius, underestimate how wonderful, unique and precious you are. With this message coming through, all you have to do is just stand strong, recognize where that passion can ignite for you and move on it. And the rest, my dear Sagittarius, will fall into place so naturally and beautifully for you. Right, let's move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you. Right, let us see now what Sagittarius's angels would like to share with them, please. And you have got your ready. Sagittarius, your angels want you to know that in July, you are ready. You are ready to identify what your passion is. You are ready to get clear on exactly what you want and how you want to set about doing it. 
your abundance is waiting for you. As I mentioned before, I can feel this energy of passion igniting. All you have to do, my dear Sagittarius, is in July, identify what this could be for you and make those first steps forward. There is nothing more you need to do. You have everything you need within you. Don't second guess yourself. Don't underplay who you are. You, my dear Sagittarius, are ready to go out there and shine and bring in your abundance. So, that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful and successful month and I am sending you all so much love.